Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Today I'm going to be going over uh, your calendar app that is built into your Android tablet. I recently had a person ask me, um, a lovely person that has been uh, really nice, and uh, so I wanted to show her how to use calendar app. Um, so your calendar app uh, that it comes stock with uh, will generally have a couple of different ways to view it. Uh, when you touch a day in itself, it'll have uh, just today's date, and then you can uh, zoom in and zoom out to see, you know, if you have uh, something with a lot of notes in it, you definitely can see that in more detail. Now, a uh, thing to uh, keep in mind is you have a day, a week, and a month view, uh, besides that, an agenda as well. So, uh, definitely something to note is how you access that if I wanted to switch to week. I just touch this button. If I wanted to switch to month, I touch this button. And if I wanted to go over here to agenda, I just go to the agenda and it's more of a list view and I can see all my days and scroll through it that way. So however you feel more comfortable with, um, this is, will definitely be the best way to uh, go about it for uh, your own personal preference. So remember it's at the top left and to switch between the different types of day, week, month, and agenda. Now, if you ever want to go straight to your day, you just tap this button, and it'll automatically go to whatever day is today. So, no matter what, if you go, you know, months away, you go months away, and just, let's go all the way to, you know, 2013, and we wanted to go back to today, we just tap that button, and it'll take us right back. So, definitely a nice, convenient way. Um, if you ever wanted to add um, something to your day, so I wanted to add something at 12 p.m. I just tap new event. When I tap that, um, I can actually do a couple of things here. I can uh, create the event name, give it a location. From what time to what time. So say if I want to do noon to one, I'll just leave it at that. But you can do, you know, another time or longer. You can make it an all day event just by clicking that button right there. You, if for some reason, say you're traveling on this time and so you're going to be in another time zone, uh, you definitely want to note that as well. So just whatever you uh, kind of want to adapt it to your own situation, definitely do that. Now um, you can also uh, add guest and a description. So if you want someone else to see this, uh, you can allow them to be invited to it. And this is a great way if you ever want to do an event um, and you want your friends to come with it, they'll get their notification right on their phone. So it's really nice for that purpose. So if you wanted to put it in their email address, say like um, just by typing in, you know, if I wanted to invite my girlfriend to this, you know, I just type her and then she adds right to it. And then she'll be notified with an email on her phone. So it's just really nice. A description on what the event actually is. And if the event is a one-time event or if it's a weekly event, if it's a monthly event, if it's, you know, however you need it to be, um, you have the ability to add it to there. You can also do a reminder notification, and the nice thing about this is you can actually do it, you know, the reminder however you want it to be, whether it be an hour ahead of time, two hours, three hours, 12 hours, two days ahead, a week before, however you want to be reminded, you can add that to it. And you have a notification option, so it'll notify you at the top bar right here, or you have an email uh, notification, so it will be emailed directly to you. Now, if I didn't want to have any type of uh, reminder, I can just push this X right here, and that'll go away. And I can still always add a reminder if need be. Now, um, one important thing to note is you can actually, if you did not know, on your computer, you could share your full calendar with other people. Now, a lot of businesses do this because your boss needs to know where you're at at all times and see your schedule, so that's why a lot of people do it. Um, now, there's two ways um, to alter this, and that's in this bottom section below. You can mark yourself as either available or busy, and that'll make a lot more sense once you see the second part, which is if your event is private or public. Private will mean that even the person that uh, has access to your um, calendar, say your boss, um, cannot see it. So you can push it private, and then your boss can see it, but on the other hand, they could see if you are available or busy during that time. So, you know, they can contact you then if you are available. But if you're busy, you know, people know not to contact you during that time. 
Um, so it's really nice um, just for that. And also you can make it public if you don't mind. If it's an event that you don't mind people knowing about, definitely by all means make it public. And once you're all said and done, you can just push done right here at the top. And now it's added in your events. So just that easy. That was earlier time, so it didn't add to my events. Now, another really important thing to note is uh, how do you put um, your calendar widget? This is really useful and definitely um, all makes my, pretty much every iOS fan uh, jealous uh, that I know just because I have this on my phone. So I take this calendar widget and I put it right down here. Um, all Google widgets you can always resize now, so I'm going to resize it to take up the whole screen. Just so if I have other events, that it loads up everything. And even if you have like long a list of events, you can actually scroll right through it. So it's just really nice to have that on your phone. This is my main page. I could just go to the right, and bam, there's my calendar. So it's really nice to be able to see everything I can do right away, right on the go. Um, and it's just something that is probably one of my favorite widgets out there on the Android market. Uh, or sorry, not the Android market, the Google Play Store. Um, so definitely a uh, very important thing to note and one thing that I definitely like. Alright, so that is the calendar app uh, for Android. If you have any other questions about it, definitely feel free to leave a comment or a question or just send me a message through my inbox. Alright, thank you very much. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.